Welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant ukulele on the PlayStation 4. And uh, yeah, I did tell you guys I was going to go and get two quills before I start this video, but I forgot. So we're going to go and get two quills today, and then we are going to speak to Trouser, and we're going to buy a couple of the new spells, the new abilities. <coughs> and once we've done that, we will be able to get a few more pages. And then we're going to expand the world and we're going to go face the first boss. So that's what we're going to be doing. Because uh, we're pretty much running out of pages now. There's not as many we can do now. Most of them like require us to have some sort of uh, ability or something, you know. So we're going to have to start buying these power-ups. Right, one more. Fitness. Is there any more up here? I don't know, actually. Now I need one more. We should have got that one we left in the other video. Oh. Oh. you got to be careful because um, Yuka can take damage. Like, full damage. So do, uh, do watch your jumps in this. I saw some... Uh... I saw some uh, quills, I don't know, I can't remember how we get up there. Go away, go away, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I mean, we have to go over here, maybe I can sort of like... Oh, come! There, yeah, yes, there we go! Lovely. Okay, right. This is the area where we're going to be facing the uh, first world boss. Okay, is everything good? Okay. Right, now let's go and speak to Trouser and get our first set of moves. And then once we've done that, we're going to gather up a couple of the pages that I know of in this level. And then we will head off to um, get the world upgraded and we're going to fight the first boss hopefully today. Depends how much I foul, I guess. How you doing, Trouser Snake? <laughs> I love his name. Well, if it isn't my old mates, please step right into my office. What office? Looks more like a crumbled old temple to me. Ah yes, pay no attention. Top designers are on the case. Award winners. Classy stuff. Anyway, I take it you're here for some of Traz's famous advanced manoeuvres. Yes, please. We could really do with some new moves, Trouser. Smashing. Just for you, my good pals, I'll teach you a real boss slammer. For just 30 quills a bargain. Hold on, I thought we had a deal. We unlock worlds, you give us freebies. My free moves apply only in Hivery Towers, I'm afraid. In the Tome Worlds, it's business as usual. Let me know which product you're after and we'll fill out the required forms. Here we go, yeah, they're all 30 like a fault. Right, so we're going to get Sona Shot. This uh, does like a sonic attack. Um, slurp Shot lets us suck up things. And Body Slam is just Body Slam. I'm not going to listen to the talking if I can avoid it. Top choice, are you sure this is the move you're after? Yes. Yes. Right, I'm going to skip all this because all they're pretty much doing is uh, explaining what the what the moves do. You know, it's not really important, so we're just going to just go through it quickly. Okay. Serpent Senpai. <laughs> Bit of Japanese for you. Right, shut up, yous. Come on. I ain't got time for this. You know, I've got wells to save. Okay, body slam. I like how you can't skip this bit just to avoid you accidentally buying something stupid. You have to actually slowly read it. He gets so many phone calls, doesn't he? If you just stand next to Trouser for a while, he just you must get like a million calls a minute. Shut up. Oops. No, 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 I didn't mean to press it. Off already? Hurry back before somebody snaps up my deals. 
Right. Now, the first place we can actually use one of these, actually. Hello up there. Spiffing job letting in some light so I can set up my target challenge. If you could address the other three blocked windows, that would be splendid. Well, I was going to say, there is a guy we can speak to underneath the temple, and he wants us to uh, let in a bunch of light, and he will uh, be able to um, redo his target challenge, and if you, if you finish the target challenge, you'll get a page. So if you just break all of these windows, you'll be able to go down there. So we might as well do it whilst we're here. It's not, it doesn't take long, we'll just break these four. This is the new move, Body Slam, or Buddy Slam. Capital work. Come inside and we'll arrange a sporting, sporting contest for a real prize. What ho? Fucking hell. <laughs> what ho, peasants? Yeah, that's where he is. It took me a while to realise that those black holes were even doors. That's why it took so long bloody doing the first world. Right, now uh, these platforms you can't land on. Now to do it, you just got to press triangle and use your new sonic attack on these dudes. There you go, and then it will unlock them. Now uh, there's a bunch of uh, quills up here, but one of the main reasons you need to come up here is because this is where the molly call is going to be. And that's what you need to give to the scientist so that you can transform into... I don't know, I think in this world it might be some sort of flower creature. Oh. Yeah, you see the molly call over there? Actually, the doctor's down there. There it is. Hello, it's me, Molly Call. Take me to Dr. Puzz for a cool surprise. Yeah, I was going to say, she's right below it anyway. I suppose we could do this right now, actually. Actually, before we do there are so many bloody pages, you know. When you get to this point and you've got all of the, like, you've got lots of power-ups and stuff. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I just nearly, like, fucking annihilated poor, uh, poor Yuka. I need some, I definitely need to get some health now. We've got a little puzzle to do on this thing right here. But I want to, uh, I'm probably going to mess up, so I want to get some health first. You can use triangle to stun these gits as well. Oh, well, we just have to try and do well. Right, now, this little turret dude here, if you uh, stand in his green zone, he's going to start trying to shoot a laser at you. What you want to do... You're going to have a certain time limit, and you need to smack each of those symbols before the time runs out, or without getting murdered by that little dude there. So, yeah, we're going to have to see what we can do. Right, so I want to, you want to try and have a little look first, and try and work out where a few of them are, because you don't get a lot of time. Oh shit, wasn't sure if you'd be able to see me there. Right, so the first one's right at the back, the next one is... Is it that one right in front of me, I think? And then we've got the shoe looking thing. I mean, I think we know enough. Okay, right, let's do this. Bang. 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 Right, we need the egg looking thing, I think it's that in it. Now we need the light, looks like a man or something. Ah, hang on, is that it? That's what, this one, isn't it? There we go. That was close. I don't know what my face looks like when I'm doing these games, you know. I mean, I've, uh, I've recorded four videos in a row, which is quite rare for me, you know. It's normally about two or three. Maybe it's because I'm not wearing a mask. I'm not feeling as hot as usual. Or maybe it's because I like this game a lot. We don't know. <laughs> but yeah. I, uh... Oh, I don't know what I was going to say now. I completely forgot what I was going to say. But there is 145 pages in this game, so yeah. I think there's a bunch you can get in Hivery Towers that are just in random spots, and then obviously the brunt of them are inside these levels. Um, what are we going to do now? Oh yes, we're going to go and speak to Dr. Puzz and give her the molly call. The, uh, the, the puzzle you do with this like transformation thing is over there. So once you get transformed, once you've given her the molly call, go over here and speak to that flower there, that dude right there. That's all you need to do. Oh, hang on a minute. Actually, I'm going to do something quickly, because this will probably be a lot easier. When you get transformed, I don't think you can actually jump. So we're going to break our attack. So I'm just going to break these. 
yeah. Because when, when you get to this bit, you can't actually jump or break anything. So you're trying to move these boxes so you can walk up here, it's a bit of a pain. So before you transform, break those boxes. It makes it a little bit, little bit quicker, a little bit simpler. She knocked him. Yeah, she's not. You got a fish in a bloody mask. Oh goodness, hello. I wasn't expecting visitors. You must be the cruddy duo Capital B is making all the fuss about. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Puzz, Hivery Tower's top scientist. Well, I used to be, before that dastardly Dr. Quack stole all of my research. Psst, Yuka, what's wrong with her arms? Shh. <laughs> uh, hi, Dr. Puzz. I'm Yuka, and this is Lele. It looks like you're experiencing some ten tentacle, uh, technical difficulties. Oh no, everything's going okay. Better than okay, even. I've just been tweaking my favourite invention, which has the magnificent power to transform. Only a damaged prototype was left behind after that horrible business with Dr. Quack, but it's now transforming as normal. Well, other than one small incident, which is probably you. I have an inkling what that might have been. <laughs> the puns. If you find me this world's molecule, molecule, I can power up the DN ray and help you on your adventure. We're ready, Doc. Fire up the marine uh, machine. Fantastic. Just stand over there in front of the DN of my DN ray. Are you sure about this, Yuka? I don't want to end up on a sushi platter. Oops! Didn't mean to do that. I pressed cross a little too soon. Okay. Are you ready to transform? Yes. <laughs> oh dear. That's not a T-Rex. Oh well, you could always use square to fire your plant spray. I'm sure it will come in use. Hey, hot stuff, come over here and pay me some attention. <laughs> now, uh, these flowers that you can see here, you will see them all over this island, you know, they're all over this bloody level. But you speak to them, they don't want to speak to you when you're Yuka and Lele. When you're the flower, they don't mind speaking to you. But I don't think speaking to the other flowers is that important. The only one you really need to chat with is this one right here. The rest of them are just, I don't know, they're just around to bother you, I guess. Hey handsome, I haven't seen you around here before. <laughs> Thank you. My plants, my plant sisters nearby could do with a strapping flora like you in their lives. Tell you what, if you could help my sisters grow, I'll reward you with a romantic gift. What do you say? Oh, okay. I didn't even get, I didn't even get a chance to confirm. Right. So all you gotta do is come up to these flowers and press square. There you go. It's very easy, it's very simple. The only one you're gonna have a problem with is the one I mentioned a second ago. But if you come over here and you break that, those wooden bits, then uh, it's easy. Because your jumping is just terrible. Oh, what the hell, they put the wood back. The boxes are back, fucking assholes. They knew my plan. And there's one over here, yep. That's the bloody annoying bit, when you fall down like that. Oh, there we go, they fell on their own. Alright, we got lucky. Because when I was doing it on my own, they got stuck in a weird position. I couldn't push them no matter what. We done it? Yep, we did it. Thanks for helping my sisters grow, hot stuff. You certainly swooped them off their roots. Here's a romantic gift. <laughs> Well, at least she only puked a page, unlike uh, Nimble the Clad, who took a dump on my head. Nimble is the worst. Okay. 
Right, if you want to uh, transform back into Yuka, just hold uh, R2 and you seem to go back to normal. There you go. Right, what do we want to do now? I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to do the first boss today. I got a bit sidetracked by all of this other random stuff I can now do. I think we're going to go over to... Um, go over to this little bit right here and we're going to do this and then I will end it for today. Next time we uh, do this, uh, next time we play, I'll do the first boss then. Because we can expand the world, do the first boss, and then we'll head off and start doing the other pages and stuff. But for now, we're just going to go in here, speak to this guy, the one who wanted us to break all of the uh, rocks on his windows. Duke's Temple. Because uh, now that we've got that tongue upgrade, look, you can swallow these uh, random things. See? Very useful. There is an upgrade for this as well that you're going to need to get to uh, eat different types of uh, things. At the moment we can only really eat the flower stuff, but there's going to be other things you need to eat in the game. And to do that we're going to need to get another upgrade. Good day, strapping adventurers. Splendid day for a hunt, what not. Whoa, aren't you supposed to talk simple, run straight at us? Like those Neanderthals in Highbury Towers? Absolutely not. I'll have you know I'm the most arist aristocratic character in the game. Not likely. There's a guy with a huge ice palace in the next world. He must be loaded. Flipping spoilers! <laughs> spoilers everywhere! Thanks for clearing the windows up top, what not? Whatever. We've done the dirty work. Now hand over the page. What? Give you my posh paper, leaving me with just the local fauna. Should nature call? Not likely. That's disgusting. That is. Although I do like a sporting contest, I propose you take on my target challenge. I will provide the targets based on my Neanderthal brethren. You shoot the blazes out of them, and I'll surrender the page. What? What? What do you say? Fancy a shot at my target range, chaps? Yes. That sounds fun. Let's shoot. Jolly good. Stand on the spare target I laid down and don't forget your ammo. Down the common beasts and I'll award the page. Okay, right. Now one thing they don't tell you, if you press this, actually that stupid page in Highbury Towers will tell you. But if you press this, you can aim. Because that's what the page in the uh, in the cage tells you at Highbury Towers. But they won't stop telling you it no matter what. I don't know how many we need to break, so just, just keep shooting. Oh, that was easy. Top shooting for a couple of run-of-the-mill peasants. I feel like... I feel like I've prepared you to take on the rest of the corporate minions in the game. Go collect your reward. What what? Tish tosh. Top of the morning. I want to be Irish for some reason. There we go. Lovely. Yum. Yum. Right. Now uh, what we're going to head back to Hivery Towers now and what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to... Uh, upgrade the world in the next video. So for now we're just going to head back to Highbury Towers. One thing that does bother me, it's a little bit of a pain in the arse in this game. Actually, no, we come over here for a minute. Um, every time you end a level, if you uh, end it like inside a world, then when you restart the game and you come back on it in the next day or whatever, then it's going to uh, randomly put you back in Highbury Towers. So you keep having to travel to the levels. There are a bunch of shortcuts you can unlock that let you get from level to level a bit quicker, but it would be nice if I came back onto the game and I was still in the actual world I left it at, you know. Oh, fuck's sake. That's my fault for rushing. God, I'm losing my voice a little bit, Jesus. Whew. But yeah, hopefully you guys have been... No, 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 no. Hopefully you guys and girls have been enjoying these videos about the mask. I've been enjoying not being sweaty as hell, but other than that, you know, I feel, I don't know, I just feel like, uh, it's, it's, 
not as much different <laughs> without the mask, you know. I just feel like the mask made it a bit different, you know, so. There we go. There we go, nicely done. Ended it right on 26 minutes past 11 in the morning. Right, so I'm gonna come over here where it's nice and safe and we're gonna end it for today. Okay, well, thanks for watching Wolf or Vets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Next time we're gonna go back to Highbury Towers. We're gonna to upgrade the Grand Tome. This level will get expanded and there'll be a bunch of random new stuff we can do. We will also meet Shovel Knight who is a, a, a character from another game, I think it's called Shovel Knight. Pretty damn good game actually. And uh, he's been put into this game as like a, uh, a cameo character and he's got a mission for you. So we'll meet him as well and then we will also take down the first boss. So yeah, thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed. Like, share and join the pack today. Oh!